Hey guys, it's Mary Taylor, Dade with Kingdom Blueprint. We are on day 27, that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance among the saints. Ephesians 1.18, here's our declaration. I declare the eyes of my heart have been enlightened and I can see everything from God's perspective of love. As I walk with God, I am becoming progressively acquainted with the calling he has placed on my life. I understand I have a role to play in his kingdom here on earth. As a believer, I have the privilege of sharing the good news of Christ Jesus with others. This great calling is my inheritance among the saints of God. Amen. We should be encouraging each other. We should be uplifting each other. Um, that's what God wants, right? Yes, we bring truth and the truth will, will set people free. We don't need to defend the truth because the truth will set people free. The truth is going to do what the truth needs to do. But my biggest thing to share is if you are not in a place where you're walking in righteousness, you're not walking in your worth, your identity in Christ, knowing who you are, knowing you're accepted, knowing you're loved, knowing your worth comes from the Lord. And it needs to only come from the Lord, right? Not what humans say, not what people do, but what God says about you, right? When you are in that place of mind, then you can encourage people. Because it's being able to come from a place of wholeness, of knowing who you are in Christ. If you don't know who you are, you can't give what you haven't received. And so to encourage you, if you guys are struggling and encouraging people and uplifting people because you're barely holding on yourself, then your house is out of order. And what that means is focus on you. Spend time with God. Selflessness is not, self-care is not selfish. I struggled with that. <laughs> when I was coming out of self-sabotage, that was something the Lord said. And he said, if Jesus lives inside you, but you don't love yourself, how can you love Jesus? And I was like, oh boy, you're right. If I don't, you know, his temple is inside me. So if I don't love me, how can I honestly say I love Jesus? You can't. It's, it's double-minded. You can't do it. And so I would encourage you guys, taking care of yourself is not selfish. It's actually putting God first. Now, I'm not talking about the vain, arrogant pride. We're not talking about that. But we're talking about eating healthy, sleeping, taking care of yourself, feeding your spirit. These are things that are important. And if you care more about people pleasing or you care more about approval of man, you will put others, other needs and other people before you. A religious spirit did that to me for so long. It got me thinking, no, 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 no. Just keep sacrificing, keep sacrificing, keep sacrificing. You know, give it out, give it all away. Give it to everybody else. Give it to everybody else. But it keeps you in bondage because you're never walking from a place of, of healed, of being healed, of wholeness. You're walking from a place of an empty tank. So it's never out of the heart, out of the overflow of your relationship with God are you giving to people. It's out of a place of a lie that we believe that religion robs us of. And so with relationship with God, he wants you to take care of yourself. He wants you to see yourself as worthy of being loved, as worthy of being cherished and provided for and protected and taken care of. And if you don't believe that, how do you receive that? And then how do you encourage others to receive that if you haven't received that yourself? So I hope that encourages you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.